guys want to hear my opinions on the recent argument they had with their lady or the birthday gift they're contemplating to give her. The things we're not supposed to talk about, like religion and politics, always get brought up in the barbershop. They talk about everything that's going on in their lives and the struggles with their children and working from home and teaching from home and it's just everyday struggles they talk about. There's something about the cape that once you put it on a client, they can just hand over the reins. I'm gonna take care of the hair, I'm gonna do the grooming, I'm gonna help with the conversation, and at the end of it, hopefully they feel lighter because they've lost some hair and also because they've lost some anxiety. It's amazing how much people walk around with on their shoulders. My name's Teresa, and together with my mother, Susan, we've been running Deluxe Barbers here now for 10 years in downtown Longmont. Deluxe Barbershop is a community hub where we're offering conscientious conversation, human connection, and a quality custom haircut. But it's kind of the other two things that happen first that really make the haircut what it is. It's a really fun profession. I just like the interaction with the customers and they love the interaction between us because sometimes we're fighting, sometimes we're hugging, sometimes we're laughing, and it's just like an extension of our family. The haircut is just a part of it. The rest of it really is determined by that relationship. Platonic positive touch isn't super socially acceptable in our community. And getting things like a pedicure or a massage for a man might have some social stigmas attached to that. But the barbershop is male friendly. A man can come to the barbershop and he can have positive platonic touch and have grooming done and at the same time maybe leave some of the worries and troubles outside of the world he can leave in my chair. Mom and I have always known that positive platonic touch was an important part of what we were doing here at Deluxe. But the pandemic really put a microscope over that. And it really made us consider our clients in a bigger picture. We were locked down for nine and a half weeks here at the barbershop, unable to open our doors to the community. Isolation can be really, really depressing, especially for a single person that isn't able to interact with other people. For some people, it is a necessity to get that positive platonic touch, to have that connection and relationship with another person, and to have a bit of normalcy in a world that's just not normal anymore. A lot of people don't have people at home that touch them, that don't have any human connection, and the pandemic really spotlighted that. There'd be 15, 20 messages on our voicemail, and it was just our clients calling to check on us and making sure we're doing okay, and was thinking about you today, and just wanted to put in a call and say we love you. And it was really overwhelming to find out just how much you mean to other people. We had to reimagine how the barbershop was gonna work. We reopened at 50%, which allowed us to take one customer per hour. It's changed our business a lot, but it has led to more intimate conversations with our clients, able to have that one-on-one -on -one connection and conversation, and to have a bit of normalcy in a world that's just not normal anymore. 
we really missed them ourselves. Just to be able to give them our service and our love, it's the first thing that brought some sort of semblance back to their lives. One year later, we're still receiving people that have not had their first COVID haircut. So much about how we feel in the world is based upon how we feel about ourselves. And for a lot of people during the lockdown, when they were unable to get haircuts, the person looking back at them in the mirror was not the person they were used to seeing. For a lot of people, coming to get their after-quarantine haircut was the start of living again, was the start of rejoining community, was the start of getting back to some sort of routine and regularity. Look good, feel good. It's a barber motto. But when you look good, you do feel good. And what you're able to achieve with just a haircut, there's a little bit of magic in there. How do you explain magic? From the outside, we're just a two-chair barbershop. But from the inside, there's a lot more going on here. This is a family, this is a community, and this is a small taste of normalcy in a world that has just gone abnormal. I'm sure it feels different here, but until you sit in the chair and the cape comes on and the truth serum starts to spurt. <laughs> Sorry, you can't use the word spurt. No, you can't. <laughs>